Hi, Center School friends. Today for Fitness Friday, we are going to go ahead and warm up with the running song. So I want you to find your own personal space. Make sure you have plenty of room to move about. You'll follow along, listen to the music. When you hear it start, you begin. So let's go ahead and find that own personal space. Awesome job, boys and girls. Great job getting those bodies warmed up and ready to move. All right, here we go. We're going to go ahead and grab something to throw and catch. Maybe it's a ball, maybe it's a bean bag. It can even be a rolled up pair of socks if you have that. Anything you have, that's what we'll be practicing with. I want you to take that something and find your own personal space. Make sure there's room above you here too. So what we're going to do is just practice tossing up with two hands and catching. So all you're doing here is you just toss to the sky and catch. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. So just getting used to that feeling of tossing and catching. Getting up. All right, now I want you to toss it as high as you can and catch it as high as you can. So you toss it high, catch it high. Toss it and catch it. So it's like you're trying to clap over you over your head as you catch. So toss, catch, toss, catch. All right. Now we're going to toss it up and catch it low. So you're going to toss it high and then catch it low. Toss it high, catch it low. So we want to toss it before it hits the ground. But if it does, it's okay too. So we'll try it again. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. All right, if this feels good, you're practicing with two hands, right? You can try it with one. So there's one hand here, you'll toss it up with one, and then catch. So you can toss, and catch. You can start it out low. Maybe you're taking it low to the ground, and just practice. Or take it up higher. And then whichever hand is your dominant one, switch it to the other, and try that. So we're tossing, and catching. 
tossing and catching. And I dropped mine too, but that's okay. Toss and catch. It's hard to go to the other hand. I find that I write with my right hand, but I actually throw with my left hand, which is an interesting thing. Some of you might find that too. Or some of you might feel better with your right or your writing hand. Some might feel better with the opposite. Some of you it might feel great for both. Whichever one you're going to practice though, making sure you get both hands. If that feels good and you want to just practice tossing it back from one hand to the other, like you're trying to create a rainbow up and over your head with your ball, with your bean bag, with your pair of socks, with anything that you have that you're going to practice tossing and catching. Maybe you want to toss and clap. So you can toss it up and catch. Toss, clap. So you can start with one. Maybe you do two. Here we go. One, two, three. Or see how many you can do. So you're tossing, catch. Toss, catch. Awesome. Again, finding that clap when we're catching with two hands here. We're catching with one. We want to make sure we're ready for it so that when it comes into your hand, it doesn't slip right through your fingers here. So try again. Tossing as high as you want and catching as high as you can. So toss high, catch high. Toss and catch. And then maybe take it low. You toss and then catch it low. And then toss and catch it low. High to low. High to low. And then you want to take it to one side and the other. And back and forth. And then as quick as you can, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. All right, take it down low. Just toss it. Toss it. So your body is low, the toss is low. And then we stand up high and catch it high. And just try to keep it going. So practicing that tossing and catching, you can take some time on your own here to practice. Remember, when we use two hands to toss and catch with two, you find that clap at the top. If we're catching it, we're bringing it into the body. If it's a bigger ball, you want to take it so you're hugging it in closer to your body. If it's small like a bean bag, a pair of socks, or a small ball here, then that clap for the catch will work. So practice that toss and catch. See what you can do. See how many you can do. See how many claps. Try one hand. Try the other. Try to maybe juggle it around. Anything you want. Challenge yourself. Have fun with it. All right, boys and girls, great job today. Have fun. Practice the tossing and catching. Go out, get those heart rates up, get the bodies moving, and have an awesome Fitness Friday. Bye, everybody.